Praise the Lord. We give God all the glory. Papa, we say thank you for your faithfulness. We bless you so much for all that you do for us. We bless you and we honor you, O oh God. Indeed, you are worthy of our praise. Thank you that each day you give us the opportunity to come before your throne room of grace. We pray the Lord Jesus, you cleanse us from all unrighteousness, so that, my Lord, our prayer, O oh God, will will reach you, O oh God. We thank you. We pray that you feed us with your word as well. In Jesus' mighty name, O oh, precious Holy Spirit, we are so thankful. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you once again, and we'll, we'll take our devotional reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, the verses 13 to 18. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, the verses 13 to 18. Let's hear the word of God. It reads, The temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. So, brethren in the Lord, it means that temptation in itself is no sin. But if we fall into that temptation, that is when we fall into sin when we heed to the temptation. So the Bible is saying that any temptation that comes our way, as children of God, God does not leave us to fall into that temptation. That is why Jesus taught his disciples this prayer, that lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And so, brethren, it says that, when you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. So what is going through your mind right now? Something is gradually tempting you. Something is gradually drawing your attention. Something is gradually letting you lose your focus. You are gradually forgetting that you are a child of God. Yes, every temptation that comes... God opens an avenue. He gives us his grace so we can endure. And all that we ought to do is to study his word, know him more, so that we can pray, we can converse with our heavenly father. So, my dear friends, flee from the worship of idols. There are so many things that come comes our way that are compared to idols because they come to take the place of Christ. So if there's something going on that is letting you waver, that is giving you double mind, if really you believe and trust in God, please rely on the promises of God and rely on the word of God. Whatever God has told us is what we have to rely on. Never lose hearts. Never throw in the towel. Do not allow yourself to be manipulated by the enemy by exchanging the grace and the authority and the freedom that we have in Christ. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. You are reasonable people, the Bible continues. Decide for yourselves if what I'm saying is true. Brethren, this word is powerful. Verse 15 says, verse 14 says, so, my dear friends, flee from worshipping idols. You are reasonable people. Decide for yourselves if what I'm saying is true. When we bless the cup of the Lord's table, aren't we sharing in the blood of Christ? And when we break the bread, aren't we sharing in the body of Christ? And though we are many, we all eat from one loaf of bread showing that we are one body. And so, as we eat the communion, we remind ourselves that we are eating from one body and that any confusion amongst us as Christians, we should remember that we have only one Father and we have one home, that is heaven. And though we are many, we eat from the same loaf. Verse 18 says, Think about the people of Israel. Weren't they united by eating the sacrifices at the altar? Brethren in the Lord, why are you not even going to the Lord's Supper? 
because you have a grudge with another brother. Remember our Father in heaven is a prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. And it is speaking to you and I that we have one Father. Let us settle all grudges so that we can all sit at the Lord's table and allow ourselves, we allow God to have his way in our lives so that we will grow in grace, in wisdom, and in the power of the Lord. God richly bless you. I pray that you share this word. I pray that you like it. I pray that if you have not subscribed, you subscribe. Thank you so much that you always listen to your week. How do you understand the word of God? God bless you and have a fruitful day. Bye-bye.